Members of the Rotaract Club told News 4 that the turnout of the first career fair held at the IGA Sports Complex was not what they anticipated. The event, hosted by the community-based organization, was designed to assist unemployed yet qualified residents finding job possibilities. Approximately 18 businesses were there hoping to retain the best applicants for the job. Unfortunately, the event did not turn out how we expected. We expected a lot of those people who are complaining that they don't have jobs to come and attend. We didn't see any of those people. We just had a handful of people. So it was quite disappointing and disheartening to see that after all of the effort that we put in, after all of the effort that the companies put in to be here present today, willing and ready to hire um, people that the event wasn't supported. The event was highly attended by graduating high school students who, according to president of the Rotaract Club, Reggie Dickinson, were ideal candidates for employers. The high school kids were really interested, but um, a lot of the companies, they were looking for high school kids as well as persons who are unemployed. So um, that was a bit disappointing, but the high school kids, they gave us the support and we really appreciated it. Director of Professional Services Tremaine Swan said that she is disappointed at the lack of attendance by residents and that the turnout has left her questioning the state of the job market. You know, because of the lack of support, it leaves me to question whether there really is any unemployment in the Turks and Caicos Islands where you have 18 companies with job vacancies and no one turning up. You know, it leaves me wonder, you know, maybe we don't have an unemployment problem as many people are led to believe. Job availabilities range from cashiers, front desk supervisors, reservation supervisors, and bank tellers. Bridget Thomas of Noani Services stated that residents seeking these positions can do so through employment agencies as well. We have a number of different positions that are available. We actually work with employers on the island to help them identify qualified candidates. Typically, uh, those firms vary from hospitality to insurance to, we work with a number of different companies on the island. Uh, what they do is they let us know what they're looking for. We go into our database and uh, we will provide qualified candidates for them. Those candidates have already been screened by us, in some instances even tested. Uh, to make sure that they meet the employer's qualifications. Members of the Rotaract Club say they will continue to enlighten the community despite today's results. For WIV4 News, I'm Angie Saint.